Hey guys, this is Sophie Shohet. Welcome back to another video. If you are new, I would love it if you subscribed. I do three videos a week and they're all of a luxury shopping nature. So if that's your thing, you might like it here. Why not subscribe and find out? What we're talking about today are Chanel leathers. Specifically, I'm gonna be talking to you about lambskin versus caviar versus patent. This for me, unless you're like a seasoned pro with Chanel and you just know what you like and you, you're confident going and getting it. If you're someone who's maybe not had Chanel before and you're saving for it and you're thinking, oh, I wanna go and get this bag, but what finish am I gonna get it in? Then that's kind of what I wanna help with today. I'm gonna to start off with the two classic leathers you can get from Chanel. This is lambskin. Here we have a caviar, and this has been in storage, which is why it looks really crumpled. Pros and cons of each. Lambskin, I love it because to me, it is most contemporary, and it's just kind of, it's got a classicness about it. It's non-fussy, it's just really clean, and I absolutely love it, particularly on the jumbo. I love the lambskin with silver hardware. That is just like such a clean, contemporary, beautiful bag. But the problems with it are, it marks up like an absolute bitch. If you are gonna go and drop a couple of thousand pounds on a Chanel bag, you're gonna wanna know what you're in for with the lambskin because I've had this particular bag and I've completely babied it since I've got it. But you kind of can't really help on the edges. It's probably more so on this bag because it's a boy bag and it's got these sharper edges. But the lambskin wears really badly. Any sort of like, any like if you've got a nail that catches on it, if you, if you just like, sometimes even if I put it like on a hard surface, like if I've got, if I'm going out for dinner and I put it on the floor or something, something like that can make the lambskin wear. And so although it's beautiful, there is that consideration. Here's the caviar. So the caviar leather literally looks like caviar sort of up close. And I guess that's why they called it that. Typically this will come in, you can get this in like black, same with the lambskin. The classic colors are black, beige sometimes they do like a navy blue and sometimes they have like a maroon but i'm talking specifically about black and beige even though i know this isn't either which is random this color by the way guys this was like a one-off color called antique bronze the caviar is a much harder wearing material if you want to buy a bag that you can actually use all the time and not worry about it so much the caviar is probably a better direction to go in Caviar is also quite beautiful in a lot of ways and one of the things I really like about it is where you've sort of got the caviar lumps, am I calling them that? They kind of catch the light really beautifully and if you compare, just do a quick comparison, you still do get a sheen on the lambskin but can you see like the caviar is just like, it, it's really really beautiful and it's just like its own thing. It looks more textured, it looks really really sort of iridescent almost. This bag is actually way older than my Chanel Boy and when I look at some of the wear and tear on the corners, it is really, really minimal. And with this bag, I don't really, I don't care for this bag the way that I care for the Boy bag. And so what you see is really just me having used this bag and not trying to mother it too much. This is what the caviar leather looks like after several years. This bag is from 2012. As you can see, there's a little bit of wear on some of the edges. And also I've noticed on this particular bag where there is like a natural crease in the leather, up close, after some time, the caviar, the sheen has just come off slightly and you can see the sort of like the, the leather layer underneath it. So it does wear, but in a much different way. The other thing that I want to point out, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to demonstrate it here, the wear in general on the caviar, because you've got this textured design in the leather, any sort of scuffs, any sort of wear and tear is disguised a lot more than it is on the lambskin. Because the lambskin is this kind of smooth, beautiful design, so as soon as you've got any sort of marks on it, they show up. If you're buying your Chanel bag because you want to actually use it, you're a busy person, let's say you, you, you plan on like going out for dinners with it, maybe taking it into the office or picking up the kids with it or whatever it is that you want to do. If you want something that is going to hold its own and you haven't got to worry, definitely 
the caviar. The lambskin, although I have used this bag a whole load, the lambskin is not the sort of material that I would personally want to use all the time for like every day just because it is so delicate and with this bag I just love this bag and I don't want to damage it. The next leather that you might want to consider is Peyton. Now here's the thing guys, the lambskin and the caviar you can always get. Every so often whenever they release a new collection sometimes they will produce the bags in a different leather, a different finish, different colours. This was a piece that came from the Cruise 2015-2016 collection where they had a number of patent items. In the more recent collections that have come out they don't have any patent but they have got like a sh like a shiny sort of much harder feeling. I think it's calf skin. I will put a picture in here so you can see it. So, so yeah, so lambskin and caviar you can always get but every so often they do other materials that you can also consider. Speaking in terms of patent, I'm actually a patent lover anyway. I really like it because for me it's hard wearing but I also like the shine on it. I think it looks really, really pretty. Patent wears better even than the caviar because it's sort of got that like protective layer on it. This bag I've used a whole load and I can't see any scuffs or any marks on it. I also don't have any dye transfer, but of course if you get this in a dark colour, you haven't got to worry about that anyway. Obviously if you're going to buy patent, it's not classic in the way that the lambskin and the caviar are, but if you just want something that you can use, enjoy, love, it's not going to get ruined as such, then the patent is a really good one to consider. So that is everything. I hope that if you're in the market for one of these bags, that this has kind of helped you work out what leather finish might be best for you. Any questions at all, just write them below in the comments and I will go through and answer any queries. Thank you guys for watching. Come and join me in the next video. I'm going to link to it there. Click that little white thing and I'll see you in five.